Hi, Kids Town friends. My name is Lana Semendo. I am the director of Next Gen at the Watertown campus. I'm so excited to be kicking off our Kids Town at home with you guys. Whether you're joining us bright and early or later in the afternoon, I'm really, really, really glad you're here. Every Sunday, right here on our Grace Chapel YouTube page, we're gonna have some fun moments with your Kids Town directors, some awesome Bible stories with Ollie and his friends, and some dancing and singing. It's going to be so much fun, I'm so excited. I've literally been dreaming for this day for so long. What are some things that you dream about when you're sleeping? Well, in today's Bible story, we are gonna learn about a man who had some pretty interesting dreams. His name is Joseph. In today's story, we're going to hear all about the big, big plans that God had for Joseph's life. He had great plans for Joseph, and I can't wait to hear all about them. But before we go into today's Bible story, I think we need to get up on our feet and do some singing and dancing. What do you guys think? All right, get up off your feet. Let's go. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are best. The reason I love is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid, God will never leave me. No, 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 his love will never change. I know they are good. I know they are bad. Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning to. It's me, Kai. I'm so glad you're all here today. I was getting ready for the big ice cream sundae party at the clubhouse. These pictures are a step-by-step -step plan on how to make the most fantastic, most spectacular, most yummiest to the tummiest ice cream sundae ever. Step one, you get a bowl, a spoon, and a napkin, then you're ready to make an ice cream sundae. Step two, add ice cream to the bowl. It can be any kind of ice cream you want. Step three, add the toppings. Ice cream sundaes need lots of toppings. Step four, and what's the last thing we do with our ice cream sundae? We eat it, what a great plan. Ho, 
Ho! It's Ollie! Hello, Kai! Ho! Ho! What are you up to? Hi, Ollie! Well, I just finished putting together my plan to make the perfect ice cream sundae. Yes, that is an excellent plan! It's true! I have a story about another great plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest, most delicious creation? Ta-da! These are my sweet dreams cupcakes. Because in today's story, we're going to talk about someone who had some pretty amazing dreams. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Woo! This is Joseph. He was put in jail, even though he had done nothing wrong. Being in jail was hard for Joseph, but God had a different plan. One day, the king of all of Egypt, the Pharaoh, had some dreams he didn't understand. They were about seven cows. Cows? What do cows say? Moo! You're right. <laughs> Dreaming about cows is funny. Wait, ooh, let's count the cows in Pharaoh's dream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Great job! Seven cows. The Pharaoh also dreamed about stalks of grain. Grain? We make bread out of grain. Let's pretend to have a snack. <gasps> mm, yum. Mm, yum! Pharaoh wanted to know what his dreams meant. And drum roll, please! He asked Joseph to help him. Hooray! Joseph was brought out of jail straight to the Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh, that the dreams were from God, that Pharaoh needed to save lots and lots of grain because his people were going to be hungry and need it later. Pharaoh was so happy to know what his dreams meant that he gave Joseph a very special job. He put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Years later, the dreams came true. People were hungry and didn't have food, so they traveled from all over to get grain from Joseph. Wow! God's plan was for Joseph to help all these people. God has a plan for us too, and God's plan is the best plan. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. Joseph followed God's plan, and we should too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Ooh. Wow, I loved that story. Joseph followed God's plan and helped so many people. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I'm excited about following this plan. It's going to be delicious. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. What a great story. Just as God had great plans for Joseph's life, 
he has some pretty awesome plans for you and me. Our bottom line for, today's, for today is that God has plans for me. So if I were to ask you, who has a plan for you? You would say, God has a plan for me. That's right. Let's try that again. If I ask you, who has a plan for you? You say, great job. God really does love us. And he has some huge plans for those that he loves. Can you turn to somebody next to you at home and say to them, God has a plan for me and he loves me? Great job. I am so, so happy that you tuned in today. And I hope that you come back next Sunday. But before we go, I have some pretty exciting news to share with you. Are you ready? We are going to be having our FX experience every month. I know, it's very exciting news. Do you guys like surprises? Well, every month FX will be full of surprises for you and your family. I know you want me to tell you what they are, but I can't. You're gonna have to tune in to find out what they are. Parents, make sure that you sign up for September's FX. I really hope to see all of you there. Until then, have a great week. And remember, God has a plan for you this week.